so I'm here again with another dome card. I'd apologise, but I'm not going to because I absolutely, <laughs> I absolutely love these dome cards. So today I'm going to be working with the um, purple pearlescent. So I've put this together, so I'm just going to undo it because I've only done it with removable. So I'm just going to take that back apart so I can show you what we do. So again, you've got your bits of ribbon here, uh, bits of holes for your ribbon. So what you want to do is, I've cut my ribbon to about 10 inches long, so that should give me enough to poke through and then enough to um, tie at the end. So you want to go from the outside in, and it comes through like a little flap like that. So if you pull it through about that much, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to put okay, just keep that bit down there. Then you're going to bob it over and then you're going to do the same on the other side. There you go. I think this ribbon is about it's three quarters of an inch, oh gosh, three quarters even <laughs> of an inch wide. So it's a really nice width to work with so that is as difficult as that bit gets so you've got your ribbons so that when you tie it together it closes so what i'm going to do because i'm going to stamp in the middle of my dome today i'm just going to bob that over the top and then with a pencil i'm just going to mark out just roughly so that I know where I need to stamp in the middle of and then we'll we'll rub these out so I'm back with my girl's stamp so I just think it lends itself really well to it so I'm stamping in uh, black I'm just going to ink those up judgment it about there. That got pressed down. Okay, and I think because it's a girly one, I'm going to emboss it when I find mine. So I'm just going to emboss it with a hologram sparkle just because you can never have too much glitz. And I really like this embossing powder because it's almost got a purple hue to it. So it will match nicely with my powder pen. Just bear with me. So, I'm just going to cut that. Also, because I'm going to be using um, alcohol markers, the, um, the colour from the ink won't run. You can always stamp in just memento if you didn't want it to run. So you can see that turning nicely now. powder everywhere it doesn't matter so when we put that on there it will fix it down 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub these off before I forget. And then I've just chosen an assortment of purples and a flesh tone. So these are the Arteza markers. So these are an Everblend. Um, so basically just an alcohol marker. And then this one is an Everblend, but it's got a brush nib as well as the chunky medium. And then this is just a twin marker. Um, Deco time, I think it's from. So I'm just going to colour these in. Debating where we're going. You'll see the difference. So these two, they're the same brand. They're both Arte's, both Everblend markers. And they're both in the current colour Periwinkle. They're both not Periwinkle. They are not the same shade at all. But... So she's coming together now. So what I like to do is I like to basically choose a couple of colours and then I'll just swap out different bits. So like with the girls, they'll be they'll have like different And I was so engrossed in my colour and then I just stopped talking. Um, I think it's just easier for me colour wise if they're all the same colour if I'm trying to match them on something like this. Like I wouldn't like to think that I were trying to find like if you are separating it and like the skirt, the dress, the shorts and trousers. If I were trying to find the colours, like five different colours that then match, I think it would just blow my mind. So I like to just choose them of the same shade, uh, same colour but different shades. So we're coming together now, so I'll do... Lavender. No idea what I've used now. Do you see what I mean? This and this is meant to be the same shade. It is not. So don't judge it just because you think it's got the same name with the same brand. It is definitely not the same colour. So that's my girls done. I just need hazelnut brown. They're all gonna have the same colour hair. Skin 
definitely a bit pinky than I would have liked for a flesh tone, but we work with what we've got available. shaking this morning makes it very difficult to colour. Me and Michael had a conversation on the way in about tea um, and I said he said he wasn't hungry at all <laughs> and I was like yeah but I, I have to think about my next meal it's just who I am. So I've just got a Oh, sage green. No, I want sage green. I want a white green. Oh, this one. What have I got? White diamond. You can't see how it's white diamond, but it's like a light gray. So it's just for the um, for the glazers. Uh, oh, I don't want. I want a pearl from Lego bracelet. So that is my girls all coloured it. So that's your first job. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the dome together. I'm just going in with my trusty tape. If I've measured this correctly, which I'm hoping I have, it should. So if you just lift that together for it to meet the other side, and then you get that press down. And then, same again on this side, put it together, press down. That should give you your dough. Oh, I've put it in something. It's okay, we'll cover it. Should have given me desk the white before I uh, started, because I know what it is. It is, uh, oh, what did I use yesterday? Distress ink. But fine, we'll make it work. So I've pre-cut my side panels here. So what I'm going to do, just to make it that little bit fancier, so we just pop those on there, and then I'll pop those on there. So if I just pop them... I like to build my layers. I like things to be all the same and then just that little bit different. So we've got different shades of purple. You can see, so it's coming together nicely now. So then what I've done is, I'll just move that there. So I've pre-done again, pre-cut my little bits of card. So in the same, same card, so we can put, put that bit on there, get rid of that edge bit. So I'm just gonna bob that on there. And then we're going to stamp our sentiment out. Just give that a 
nice and press down. And then this is gonna go oh, on some foam. In the middle. So I'm gonna go foam first onto here so that when I stick it on try to get it in the middle. Mm -hmm. And we can add a little bit more to the edge. That round there. Most seem really cack handed the way that I do things, but it does make sense in my head. But actually, I'd like it to. Change my mind about form in the end. This is not straight. It must be straight. That's what I love about working on pearlescent card. It always comes back off. I'm just going to leave it like that. In the middle, like so. And then <laughs> we've got some little paper flowers that I'm just going to decorate with. So I'm just going to bob a little bit. So I'm just going in with some tape and then I'm going to bob the flowers in the middle. See, it's all purple. Purple is my favourite colour. So, if anybody's watching that knows me at all, you will know this. How this is purple. If there's a sample and it's purple, it will most certainly be mine. <laughs> like it when a vision comes together. That on there. On there. On there. On there. Oh. Doesn't that look beautiful? You can always add some extra, extra gems if you want. Just add them just around. This one's not going to come off now. That one there. <laughs> and that is my finished pad. So when it seals up, it would go into my box. Just make sure that you've put your edge bits down.
And there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed that and um, you will be seeing much more of these dome cards and I'm not even sorry because I love them. So I hope you enjoy it and I will be seeing you very soon. Bye. Right, I'm back again. So basically because I've ruined the back of it and obviously the alcohol markers have gone through, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to cover it. So as you can see, I've got the back on there. So what I've done is I've just cut some of the same card and that's just what I'm going to use for the back of it with a of tape on there. So I'm just going to bob that on the top of there. And then I'm going to do the same with these two side panels. And what you can do is see, there you go. That that's finished it off, and now it all matches nicely. And then same as before. So if you push those in and you're doming it together. So okay. I'm not working my hands this morning. So that is how it will sit in your box. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And I'm sorry I've been back twice. It's just I wanted to show you how I, how I would cover the back of it just to make it that little bit easier. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you again soon.